My name is Deputy Baker with the Paso County Sheriff's Office, and today you'll be doing a ride along with me for Tweedle Hall. Um, Major Carter Roan with the Explorer Post, and I'm going to be doing a ride along with Deputy Baker today. So we're going to a citizen's right now. Uh, apparently, a woman allowed a homeless man to stay at her residence last night, and when he left this morning, he left his property, and she believes there may be some drug or drug paraphernalia uh, with his property. So we're going to go check it out. Um, just let me contact the Sheriff's Office so they can notify me, okay? Yep. Uh, typically, whenever we get found property, we like to inventory it. That way, when uh, whoever comes to pick up the items can't say that, oh, this was in there and now it's missing. So it's just a, a liability issue. Sometimes there's stuff in there that's not supposed to be in there. Um, if it gets to that point, what we just do is we just submit it to be destroyed uh, if it's any type of drug drugs or drug paraphernalia so let's see mm -hmm. got his jacket in the backpack why do you think it's uh drug drug related you think there's gonna oh, that be was what his girlfriend told me he's on that he's on that and i've never seen any This is what last week. Yeah. Uh, one KB. KB right here. Mm -hmm. And then quantity weight is one. This jacket. And then black leather jacket. So we just cleared the uh, citizens, citizens assist call, um, and ended up being a found property. Um, the woman allowed a man to stay at the house. Uh, for an extended amount of time and he left and leaving his jacket in his backpack there so she doesn't want it there anymore she doesn't want him uh to give him the opportunity to come pick it up so we're just gonna take it as a found property submit it to our property and evidence and when he uh, if he wishes to come and claim it he can do so um, as far as next year goes my goal um is to get back into school uh the agency they're getting more into uh education so as far as advancement goes, they want you to have uh, some, some type of degree. So I plan on going back to school and get uh, my bachelor's in English. So that's, that's my goal for 2018 is to get back to school. You're going to have to find somewhere else to stay, okay? You okay though? Yeah. Everything's doing well? Staying clean? No more spice? When's the last time you used? No, no? Okay. But you're doing okay? This is uh, Suboxone. It's what they use at the methadone clinics to, to wean people off um, opiates. So unless you have a prescription for this, you're not allowed to carry it. It's considered a controlled substance. But this is, it's been used. So there's nothing in it. Chili's had uh, a customer in there, uh, a 
Apparently she had a few drinks at the bar, nothing major, and they said when she went to the bathroom, she came out and uh, appeared to be more intoxicated, so they're under, under the impression she may have took something while she was in there. Um, so right now she's getting trespassed. She's understood uh, what that means, so if she comes back onto the property and we come out, then she's obviously going to be subject to arrest, so uh, that's essentially what's, what's going to happen. So we're waiting for her to get a ride right now. Um, but it's going to be up to her to leave. So if she comes back, then we, we have to come back out and take her, take her down to the, the jail. So that's it. Hey, it's Sippy Baker. And I'm Explorer Major Carter Rohn. Uh, we're going to be signing off today. We appreciate you following with us today with the tweet along. And we hope you have a good night.